Hello and good morning. Good morning, YouTube. Hello, friends. Hello, viewers. Welcome back to my channel. It's Jacqueline from the blog, baggyperspective.com. Today, see, Sophia and I are out for our morning walk, but I just wanted to share something with you because we are visiting a part of our city that contains a rain garden, right? And it's really, really beautiful, but keeping your pet on a leash when you see those signs is so very important. And let me show you why, guys. All right, so as you can hear, you can hear water. So I'm gonna turn the camera this way now. Who thinks this is beautiful? I'm sure everyone would agree. We're going that way. But who thinks this is dangerous? Well, as long as you're on the path, right? No one really thinks this is dangerous. But if your dog's not on a leash, watch this. Dangerous yet? Dangerous yet? Look at that hole. Here we are. Safe? 12 more inches, not safe. It just falls right down into the river you see that water down there that's approximately a 15 to 20 foot drop right so just beyond this the water is flowing freely right there but i just want to make that point when you see those signs guys don't ignore it don't think it's all right it's okay not your dog you're different not this time it won't be me the way to keep it from being you and again i reiterate the way to keep it from being you is by being the one that follows the rules keep your dog under direct control at all times in this beautiful setting i mean this is well manicured i'm gonna turn around so you can see it right it's well manicured it's great got different facilities around you there's a lot of people around but when you walk these trails safety is up to you some portions of the trail are very isolated so you want to be careful with what you're walking with me i like fanny packs right because i can keep my hands free has everything i need we have more poo bags right on our lead and inside of the bag if i need to refill that cartridge and overall, if anything does happen, I can sprint and not worry that I'm gonna drop anything, lose anything, leave anything, keys, anything like that, right? So you wanna make sure that you're safe out here on these trails. We're out here every day, at least once per day, but sometimes twice or even three times per day. So please be careful with your exploration and yeah, Keep your doggies on the lead under direct control. Next, I want to share with you a product that I have found that makes caring for Sophia that much easier. Let's get into it. Okay, we're back in the house. All right, so the product that I wanted to share with you is one that we all know and that we all love it's a household name it's a household brand and i just wanted to share with you this really um, pet friendly cleaning product that i have been begun using uh, because it is pet friendly and it is also really really good for the environment as you know i spoke recently about pet peeves and the tough parts about being a pet parent so clean up those messes right it gets a little bit difficult at times but you do have to work with your pet to find proper solutions so that you're not angry with them they're not misbehaving and that you just keep harmony in the house right so one thing that i did find is <coughs> excuse me Thanks. Sorry. So one thing that I did find is a really super disinfectant that you can use to keep your house clean and keep your pet healthy, keep bacteria down, funguses, messes, and so on. It's Lysol. Lysol Pet Disinfecting Cleaner. Thank you very much, right? This is a fairly large size, right? It's 32 fluid ounces right here in the disinfectant cleaner. It is specifically for 
pet messes. It's free from harsh chemicals. It's free from residues and it is packed with odor removing technology. So everybody knows this, right? Everybody knows about Lysol. My grandparents used it, my parents use it, my siblings and I, we use it, my aunts, uncles, cousins, my employers, my previous employers, we all use this product, right? Even if you go to work, you can see Lysol products in and around the workplace. So we like this because we know that Lysol kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. It effectively cleans messes like poop, urine and vomit includes odor removal technology to neutralize unpleasant odors from pet messes it has a light citrus fragrance discourages remarking now that is remarkable right because you're going to use it to clean up the mess that the pet made but then it has technology included in there that's going to keep them from remarking in the same places this is made with hydrogen peroxide to be suitable for use around pets. Now, again, they will tell you right here on the label, it's great for everyday use around the home. You can use it on your floors, all different sorts of surfaces, ceramic, porcelain, tile, laminate, linoleum, vinyl. You can use it uh, in the household washable walls, which I use it for quite a bit. I use it for Sophia's pet mat. I use it for her pet pen I use it in the dinner area on the kitchen floors just anywhere where she's where she's been I use it there right particularly countertop areas and the pet crate really really super important right you can also use this in the bathroom if you have glazed ceramic tile cabinet sink fiberglass fixtures you can use this all over the place now don't get me wrong I still have my regular Lysol cleaning products, Lysol cleaning products plus be bleach, foaming cleaners, and other cleaners for my household. But this, you can zero in right on your pet. So I just wanted to share this with you. It's a really great solution. It's not too totally expensive. Now, when I went out to get mine, I will tell you this. I had to visit more than one retailer in order to pick mine up the shelves were empty you know if you go into uh, some retailers you go on to the dog food aisle and then you'll find this in the pet aisle not in the household cleaner aisle but you're going to go to the pet food aisle with pet food uh, pet care products and you're going to find it there so i found holes in the shell where these products would be <sighs> packed up back in the truck Cross town go to another retailer right these were this is a really good value for what you pay for it some people maybe disagree but I do not it is totally worth it you don't need to use tons and tons of it to see an effective result so please if you have not tried your Lysol pet disinfecting cleaner yet make sure that you do that and then this way you can feel comfortable and confident that not only are you cleaning up the messes you all you are also practicing prevention in terms of your pet soiling in another area or soiling in this same area you are discouraging them from doing that and then you're cleaning things up right nothing's going to be contaminated your family is safe and this is not going to hurt your d-o-g right so that is the product that i wanted to share with you today now from our table is not going to occur during today's video so i do thank you very much if you would like to try this product i will leave you a link in the description box below if you're on the go if you're reading my blog um, thedogperspective.com then you will find links for this product in the recent article entitled pet peeves and pet food shortages so this is jacqueline from the blog thedoggyperspective.com i gotta go but until next time happy pet parenting and we'll see you in the next video goodbye